Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another reaction. This is going to be the last episode of tonight, because this is the episode that released earlier today. And uh, it is Attack on Titan Final Season, episode 25. And the last three have been fucking amazing, uh, as usual. I mean, I can't get enough of it. And uh, we saw uh, at the end of last episode, it seems like everybody's, you know, the, the old squad is getting back together. They're teamed the forces. Uh, Marley, well from what's on the island marley and <clears throat> armin and the rest of them reiner annie all these people so it seems like they're about to team up and you know see what's good and hopefully they can you know f fulfill their plan of taking out aaron i don't know how the hell they're good they're gonna do it well i do but we don't uh collectively <laughs> whoever's watching this but uh I'm excited for this episode, and uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait another week after this. But you know, it's worth it. I had a, I had a couple weeks off and uh, was able to binge a couple episodes, so fulfilling in my eyes. And um, yeah, let's just get right into it, guys. If you guys haven't, please leave a like on the video. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And uh, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's get right into it. Oh, John. His old desires, just relaxing. This is like his dream, having a kid with Mikasa, just chilling, having some good, good alcohol. Oh, okay, so this is, yeah, this is during the night, whenever they came, uh, came and tried to tell him the plan and group up. Nikasakara <laughs> リヴァイ君たちはここのつの巨人がなければ何もできない。従来 エレンを止めることはこの島を滅ぼすことになります。私が思うに、マーレからすれば島に奇襲を仕掛けた途端、ジナラシだ。少なくとも今後しばらくはこの島に手は出せないと思う。完全に島を滅ぼさないと、いつ
Yeah, think about that, bro. There's a lot of people that died that didn't know that. Yeah, all of them. It's like that scene with Erwin. Man, this is giving me goosebumps right now. This is... Marco. The Night of the End. Nice stew for everybody. Damn, literally everybody's here. さんざん殺し合ったものせいぎだと。今正義を語ったのか。あんたか。あんたらが送り続けてきた巨人に抵抗してきた俺たちが悪だったのか。いいか。俺たちが必死に戦ったの。巨人に食い殺されたくなかったからだ。それが悪魔の
問題は始祖の巨人がどこにいるかだ闇雲に飛んでもすぐに燃料は尽きるそうだだからこいつをさらったなぜ私がマーレ人のクソ野郎に協力する必要があるのかと聞いているあんたの命をこっちが握ってるからでしょ無駄だ死にたがってるでも自分の故郷のためにマーレと戦ってたんだろう故郷がこのまま Bro, This episode is so crazy like everybody's just sitting around the fire like enemies like debating and conversating なぜなら Oh man yeah, dude, this bitch has been a, such a snake, like just so weird, Lena, uh, from the beginning. Not very trustworthy. これ以上に人を引きつける甘美な言葉があるでしょうか。何億もの命を救うという崇高な胸の高鳴りに身を任せ、これまでの遺恨など泣き者のように喉へと流し込む。それが今、私の目に映るあなた方の姿です。ダム。少し思い出してみませんか。Oh my gosh. Rainer Brown. Anata ga kabe ni ana o aketa koto de. Dore dake no Eldia jin ga kyo jin ni kui koro sareta de shou ne. Annie Leonhard. Anata mo zuibun to chousa heidan o koro shita sou desu ne. Tsui de ni Stohesk de mo ooze no juunin o fumi tsubu shita to ka. Ah, Mochiron Paradito no Minasamo. Fudan a Ryoshkijin no Anatama. A so coma de Hadeni Gunko Hakai Surtoa. Arno Minkanjin of Kume. Doredake no Stai no Yamato Senka or Agetako. Damn, bro. Anatawa Shariki Oats Tameni. So coni il Faruko Shon and Megake. You mo Kakani Raiso Uchkomimashta. So stay. そこにいる少女ガビによってサシャが撃ち殺されましたサシャは本当にいい子でしたから私も悲しかったしかし訓練兵から家族のように一緒に過ごした皆さんの悲しみと肉親とは比べ物にならないでしょうがああ忘れてた何でしたっけ以前教えてもらったあなたの親友の名前はそうだマルコだうん確か彼の死に兄が関わってると言ってましたよねもう兄から聞いたんですかマルコの死の真相をマルコは俺とベルトルトの聞かれてはいけない会話を耳にした俺は正体がバレることを恐れマルコが巨人に殺されればうまく口封じが Bro, I can't stop saying it, bro. This, this, so far, every episode in this part two has just been surreal, like, of what is actually happening in front of us. Like, they're actually conversating and putting all this stuff out in the open with each other. マルコはその場から動けないまま巨人に食われた Yeah, that, that was like John's like best friend, like first person that actually believed in him. Part of the reason why he's here today. And who he is now. I mean, he's a great leader now, just like Marco always thought. Damn right, yeah. マルコが巨人に食われるのを見ながら俺はなんでマルコが巨人に食われているんだと思ったそして怒りに身を任せてその巨人を殺したよくもマルコ男が言いながらもういいって罪悪感で頭がおかしくなっちまったんだろすまないガビ
てもらうためにこの島が悪魔が消えてなくなることを願い続けてましたそうだお父さんやお母さんがレベリオンのみんなが消えてなくなることになりましたコピー <laughs> Levi. It's like, goddamn, I'm trying to get some sleep here, man. Shit. Damn, already there? Oh, yeah, there's a train now. Oh, my God, this dude Alrighty, guys. Well, another amazing episode here for episode 25 of the final season. But damn, bro, I was, you know, I was just so sucked into that episode. Like, I I'm sure I didn't talk as much during the episode than I usually do. And simply because this one was just, it was just so weird and like, I don't know, like, I keep on saying this word, but surreal that this is actually happening. Like, they're all sitting around. Like, Hanji even said it herself, like, I, I was saying it, but Hanji said it herself, like, in the episode, like, they're actually all sitting down together, conversating, and having a meal together, which was just, it, it's so crazy to think about, because I, Annie hasn't even, like, been in the picture for, like, four years, and, uh, as well, as well as Reiner and the rest of them, too, because, like, you know, around the time that they went back, that's when the four-year time skip happened, it was, like, after they lost, uh, to the Survey Corps, um, in Season 3, Part 2. And so it had been four years since they had seen any of them. And like at, at that point, you know, it was very dead set that they were their enemy because, I mean, shit, dude, they learned everything that they did, killed, like, you know, how they killed all their people and stuff. Like, this is, this is, this was an interesting episode. Like, I really like this one. It's definitely a slower pace than all the episodes that have come before so far. Uh, this, this part two. But, I really liked it. I mean, you know, some people, you know, some people only like all the action and uh, action is great whenever it's there, but it doesn't need to all be action because if there is no plot and if there is no um, great writing like this and you don't have, you know, great dialogue scenes like this and that that was really cool to see. Uh, them all sitting around and hashing it out and putting everything that they've done out in the open. You know, everybody has dirt on their hands. I mean, Armin killing a shit ton of people at the military port over at Liberio. Um, I mean, most of those people were civilians. I mean, he's like a, he's basically like a fucking nuke. So, I mean, everybody has dirt on their hands. You know, Annie and Reiner with the whole Marco thing. And that's what really got John, you know, so heated in that moment was just because John, like I said, Marco was the first person that really believed in John being a leader. Even though John was at first, his only intention of joining the military was just try to have a cushy life in the interior. But then after realizing that somebody believed in him, and then actually surviving through that first fight at Trost, he, he, like, he, he couldn't live with himself after the fact to go and do that when he knows he could be doing something better um, for the people and also for the people that have already passed on, like Marco and everyone else that he was close to. But Marco was the first person. And it, it was at that moment, too, because, you know, John, remember John, like, the way he was, like, he never really got along with, like, 
I mean, he wasn't like intolerable, but he didn't really get along with Aaron. Like Aaron and John were kind of like polar opposites where Aaron wanted freedom and he, you know, John thought he was just asking for death, but Aaron just had a strong sense of like, I need to do this. Like I can do this. And um, John, on the other hand, had a very like realistic approach. Like we're going up against fucking giants, bro. And they eat us. Like we don't stand a fucking chance. Like what? What? Like nah? I'm gonna go into the military police and have a nice ass cushy life, drink some good liquor, and call it a day. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not to be looked down upon. You know, it seems like he, you know, that you know, whenever in the beginning of those episodes in season one, it seems like he's a little bitch. But those are most people. I mean, if any of us were in this society or in this like universe, bro, like you guys really think you want to be fighting titans? Like if I saw a titan, even if I saw, bro, the smallest titans are like three meters tall like bro what we're not most human beings are not even two meters tall like bro if i saw that like gg like give me the knife give me the rope uh, a belt a fucking gun like i'm i'm good like i'm killing myself <laughs> that sounds so dark but like bro i don't want to be eaten like just, just the thought of it like you could be eaten and still alive inside of their stomach slowly digested just suffering until you're fucking dead you could you could be you could lose limbs and still survive like i don't want to lose a limb uh you you i mean you could just be crushed flat i mean whatever's quicker i guess but damn bro like it would be brutal actually going against some titans bro um that that, that would just be just definitely not for any of us i don't think if you saw a titan outside of your house you just you'd probably just be like all right yeah uh this is this is where <laughs> this is where the timeline ends for me but uh, that was that was that was really cool that they uh, had that conversation and stuff, and everybody like put out all their like vices and grievances out in the open. Um, John finally beating Reiner's ass because you know Reiner started to feel so bad about himself, and it was kind of like fucking with him at that time in season one, where he it seemed like he had two different personalities, or he was two different people at different times. He was either a warrior for Marley whenever he was trying to do secret shit and stuff with Annie and Bertolt, or and then also he was Reiner. Just, just Reiner from Paradis with his friends. Like, I mean, he was a reliable person, and he like really put up that, and he actually cared about those people, and that's why he feels as much guilt as he as he does. But John was like, Nah, don't don't fucking do that shit. Like, don't do that. Like, especially when it came to Marco, and that's that's what drove him over the edge and to kick his ass a little bit. Like, he's like, Nah, bro. Like, you can't just fucking do that and get away with it, or uh, start talking like that after you've already done it. Like, own up to it, bro. Which he has, but the way he was. I don't know. It's like, it was just like the guilt talking. He was like, nah, bro. No reason to feel guilty now. We're already this far into it. Um, and yeah, it seems that they're going to try and stop Aaron. They're on their way to the port where uh, Kiyomi Azumobito is. I think it's her name, Kiyomi. And Flock has her hostage because the Jaegerists are there. So it looks like shit's about to go down there. I mean, shit, once they get there, I wonder how they're going to fuck them up. I mean, it, they uh, they all got the Thunder Spears. They got a lot of equipment. Like, I mean, they're stacked. They're ready. So it's going to be like a good, like, 10 people versus, like, a good fucking army. Like, the new army, you know, the Jaegerists. Um, so that's going to be very interesting to see. I'm so excited, like, the way this is building up. Like, like I said, this episode was a little bit more of a laid back episode but the dialogue was amazing and some people don't like that but that is what creates a great story and that's why i've fallen in love with this show as as well as all of you guys i'm sure so yeah that does it for episode 25 of season four and uh we gotta wait until next week to the next one guys so this has been a fun night i'm glad i was able to watch all these episodes that was that was a lot of fun um Attack on Titan is just one of the best shows ever, and I'm sure you guys would agree. So if you guys haven't already, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Your boy Foxy's out of here. Y'all have a good one.